it's Megan and we are staying at the Bahama Bay Resort in uh, Davenport, Florida, which is really close to the Walt Disney World property. It's only about a 25 minute uh, drive away. So I thought I would show you um, what our space looks like in this resort. It's really nice. It's spacious. So let me show you what it looks like come in hello when you come in we're on a corner uh what or we're condo i guess is the best description so we have this uh, little hallway that wraps around let me close the door there's that so when you walk into a corner spot this is what it looks like it has a little place to put your keys and whatnot and to hang up like if you have raincoats or if it's chilly you could put your sweatshirts there and then these doors lead you to the washer dryer and then if you walk around it kind of opens up it's exactly like a condo or an apartment here's the kitchen some of this stuff is ours So if you need more towels or whatever. But yeah, obviously we've already used the shower. Some of these small appliances are ours just because we're staying a little bit longer than what most people would stay. But this little coffee pot right here is included. And then I'll show you. This kettle is included. And then right here. But then, you know, it's stocked up, like, with things that you need otherwise. The dishwasher. Here's a nice fridge. There's a little pantry area. But we've already started putting stuff in there. Again, we're staying a little bit longer than probably what most people are staying. Here's a light. The bathroom. It's just like a typical bathroom. And then in here is like the twin, twin rooms, or like twin bedrooms. But there's plenty of storage. And then a table to eat at. There's also a breakfast bar with some chairs, just in case. And then the living area. And then that leads into the uh, balcony, the screen and balcony, but I'll show you that in a minute. Main bedroom. It's a good size. It has a fan. And then the bedroom goes out in the lanai as well. This is what we look at. It's a chair there, a little table, another chair, and then it extends over there. So I decided to um, just kind of walk around Bahama Bay Resort just to kind of let you see what the resort kind of looks like. Um, it's only about 25 minutes away from Disney, so if you're looking to come to Disney World um, but don't want to stay on property, this might be a good option for you. This is what the buildings look like right there. And they're like apartments, basically condos. 30 of these buildings um, spread out over the property. There's a playground. There's another building. Another one's over there. But yeah, they're all kind of spread out. It's a fairly quiet place. So if you're looking for a quiet place, this would be a nice place to come. Plus it has lots of trees, lots of places to sit, all that fun stuff. Lobby, there's a place called the Marketplace. So sundries and whatnot. A little reception. The water feature, and that's where you check in. It looks like they have some coffee back there. It's the clubhouse. Let's go check it out. Up to that building is a shuffleboard court. So if you want to sh do shuffleboard, this would be the place to come. It is basically like the guest services area where you would check in. 
and all that back behind the building is the pool. I'll show you that. And a good size pool. I'm actually in like a like a bar side, pool side bar, but they're closed right now. Snacks, some ice cream, drinks, and of course, if you forgot your sunscreen and toiletries, a bunch of toiletries. Just uh, the clubhouse, and then right next to it is a splash pad. Nobody's in there right now, so I'll show you. Only because I didn't want to film kids. This is what the splash pad looks like. And then right up there is a restroom. In the back side of the pool, actually, oh, you can kind of see the water spouting up, but there's a pond down there what the back side of those buildings look like. They uh, all have screened in one eyes. Basketball hoop set up there too, so I guess it, it's a double dual purpose. Leave the splash pad and turn right away from the uh, clubhouse. There's some tennis courts right up there. Not sure if Oh, well, they just went back under. I just saw three turtles kind of sticking their heads up. But they stuck their heads back down. One's kind of popping up. I don't know if you could see it. But I get to the back side of the clubhouse and that pond that I told you about. There's that water feature spraying up the water. And then right on the other side of the road is another pond. in Florida, alligators could be present in water. So it doesn't matter what kind of where you are in Florida, chances of there being an alligator in there, pretty high. They do have a restaurant on property. It's right there. It's called Trade Winds. What do you say about alligators? You don't have to be faster than the alligator. You just have to be faster than the person next to you. So just keep that in mind. We're in the back side of the restaurant. There's a pool, but there's a lot of people. But I don't want to film, but they do have hammocks, little tiki areas, and some sand, like a beach. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe by the end of this day, we'll venture over there and give it a go. That is Bahama Bay. This is where I'm staying for a little bit, a few days. So maybe this would be a good option for y'all if you're coming to the Orlando area and want to check out something that's not on Disney property. I have a fishing pier. Let's go check it out. Like, obviously, they want you to have a fishing permit. <laughs> looks like this deck might have had some better days. It looks a little rough. Oh, look. This is a nice view. the resort and the pool. Until next time, take care. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe. And as always, please like and comment as it helps me in the YouTube averse. Until next time, bye. The trees along the um, pond are actually in the water. It makes me wonder if this is just really high or um, if this is normal.